Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning in to this installment of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new offering from Classic Construction Models. This is the Caterpillar 583K pipe layer in 1 to 48 scale. Uh, this is a diecast model. Classic Construction Model is are known for making precision diecast and brass models. So again, in this case, this is one of their new diecast releases. So a little bit about the real Cat 583 pipe layer before we get started. It was introduced back in 1974, and it was the replacement for the 583H. Features included the ability to produce up to 300 horsepower at the flywheel and reach a top forward speed of 6.8 miles per hour. The side boom can lift a total of 140,000 pounds, so a pretty impressive machine. As you can see, I have it on a Diecast Masters low boy as we bring it onto the site here. But again, before we take a look at the model, let's take a look at everything that is included with it. Here is the card and you get these with almost every classic construction models and it's a uh, a reprint of the original equipments brochure and also it has your serial number as each of these models again if you're not familiar with ccm models each of these have a serial number on it mine is number 53 out of 750 total models that were made and then they are signed by gary from ccm and again on the back of the card you can look over this by pausing the video Again, it just features some dimensions and other information about the real 583K. So, again, pretty cool to have. As for the box that the model comes in, it's similar to the same style of packaging that the latest CCM models have come in. And that's the black style packaging, as you can see here. Um, that's the side of it, anyway. Trying to focus the camera. There we go. And this is the top. There you go. With a just white outline drawing of, again, the pipe layer. So, again, very clean and professional looking packaging. I gotta say, I am a fan of it. It is, again, similar to the style that Diecast Masters uses on some of their product lines. So, again, very professional and very nice looking. The last thing besides the model that's in the box is this tiny little screwdriver, and we will see what this is used for momentarily. All right, let's get on with the model. So as I said, I have it on a low boy just to kind of show you the scale again and bringing it in. So let's take it off the low boy here. You do get two counterweights that you have to put onto the side of the pipe layer. And that's pretty much all the assembly you need to do. The lines for the winches, all the cables, that's all pre-assembled, so you don't have to do any weaving. So that's nice. As for putting these on, they line up on the side here. You just got to be a little bit careful how you do this. There you go. There's one on. We'll go ahead and slide the other one on. And you're good to go. Just like that. Very simple. Takes only a couple seconds. And you can see how well they line up. Like that. So I already showed you one part of the functionality on the model. And that is the fact that the counterweight can be retracted for a transport position or a parked position and then also extended out for when the side boom is working for lifting up a pipe for example now for the screwdriver this you do have to pay attention to what you're doing because as you can see here you have all of these different lines here and all these different lines here. So you have to be careful that you're not jumping any lines. But there's two different spots hidden into the actual casting of the model. And I really like how they do this because it's not totally obvious. Um, right here is one. And here is the other. So these are where you control your, your winches. Now again, make sure you have tension on your lines so that they don't hop and weave and go everywhere but you put it in here and this lowers gives you slack for your main line here as you can see here 
and then turn it the opposite way to pull it tighter. See that? And then the other one controls... It's kind of hard to do this left-handed. And then the other one controls your winches down here for this, this line. So again, be very careful that you're not crossing your lines or that they're not jumping off the cables because you're in for a fun time weaving them back up if they do. But just wanted to show you that's how the functionality works on it. Overall, it works pretty well. Again, you just have to focus on what you're doing and uh, make sure that you don't create a nightmare for yourself. But overall, it's en engineered very well, and it works just fine. On the back, you have a winch here, and this is also functional. This is a Cat 58 winch. And if you look here, you actually have the little hook on the back. Hopefully that's focused. I'm off to the side of the camera, so I actually can't see. Um, but you can undo, unwind this if you want, wind it back up. But that is another working feature on this pipe layer. So let's fold this thing back up for a transport mode. Just like that. The tracks are uh, individually linked free rolling track pads. So they will move on a surface that has friction, which is obviously not this table. This is a pretty flat table. Um, but they will roll by hand if you do it carefully. And here is an underside look at the detailing underneath. By the way, there is the serial number for mine, number 53. There's the CCM logo and again some detailing underneath the pipe layer. On the front you have an etched through grill, which is etched through and perforated. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear that. But it's really, really very nice. And then on the side, again, you can see the with the opening engine hatch there, um, you can totally see the engine inside. There's actually no engine hatch or no engine cover. So again, completely visible on both sides to see the engine. The operator station is also very detailed because it is an open ROPS machine, so you can get a very good look inside all of the joysticks. Uh, there's a couple of foot pedals down there in yellow as well, and some nice decals up here. So there you have it, collectors. That is a brief overview of the brand new CCM Caterpillar 583K pipe layer in diecast in 1 to 48 scale. Uh, this model retails from CCM for about $180 US. Again, fair value for these. I do see these selling out very, very quickly. Uh, pipe layers are not a very common machine for CCM to do. I know they've done uh, just about a handful between 148 scale and uh, 187 scale over the years. But again, it's not a very popular machine, and they usually do sell very well once they are released. So again, don't hesitate. If you're interested, make sure you pick one up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Let me know what you think about this, uh, with this particular model down in the comment section below. And until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next video.